I have two video clip the first video of the Oromo army in support of uh, TDF uh, Tigray Defense Force in exemplary ways and then the second video of the Oromo Liberation Front Oromo army uh, this one is uh, is again it's uh, Tigray Defense Force and uh, shine a negative light on the Tigray uh, uh, people uh, liberation front the army uh, they call it uh, the, the Tigray the cause of this problem uh, in this region so we want to know like everybody else uh, are these groups the Oromo and Tigray are they fighting alongside to try to overthrow the government or each of them going at it uh, individually are there some kind of unity because Gatacho mentioned on this uh, on some of his post on Facebook that the o Oromo the OLF uh, he is he speak positive on OLF, the Oromo. And let's watch the first video, and then we we'll go to the second video, and then I have a two statement from the Gatacho, the military leaders of the Tigray Defense Force. Let's go. And don't describe. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, to the channel for next video. Uh, he mentioned the Tigray as you can see and uh, he's he is advising people not to join the Ethiopian army to go die in Tigray and and then he advised them uh, ask for their support and that uh, even if you have nothing to use uh, he's talking about weapons uh, and you can even use uh, a machete that's what he's saying in people club uh, and then and then he mentions uh, the importance of the Oromo Liberation Front uh, what they're fighting for <laughs> He say if we have freedom we should be able to have choices to who we want to vote for and now forget uh, and now he say we are used to being abused by this government they can come and and kidnap our brothers, our sisters, our fathers, our daughters, our mothers in the front of us. We cannot do anything. So he's talking about the desperation of living under a dictatorship, a fascist uh, government. So let's go to the next video. This guy is obviously he's very well spoken, and uh, he is in support of the the, the Tigray. Uh, he want to be, uh, use the Tigray defense forces or uh, willing to fight uh, the, uh, with the Tigray defense force as a unified forces to go and overthrow the government because there are um, there are some uh, segment of Ethiopia there are many different military forces that are united in fighting the government of Ethiopia and a lot of people saying that the Tigray in Oromo 
and some Somalis, uh, they join in each uh, hand to over to to fight this government as a unified force, and then they will eventually share power at the end of the uh, when the government is overthrown. Uh, and then uh, we're not really sure what the case is because this video is clearly, as you can see, he's speaking in uh, in willing to work with the Tigray Defense Forces. Uh, he's speaking of the Tigray in a, in a positive tone. And uh, let's go to the next video. There is another video. You say you're ready to uh, free Oromia from the dictatorship. You say yes. Are you ready? We're ready. So they say. We have a message for you. He say. <laughs> We love you. Bagajratan, meaning that Fayanuda, meaning that uh, we wish you uh, uh, health. Seems the population is living in a horrible condition. It looks like. <laughs> Well, we're not friend of the Tigrays, he say. We're not friend of Tigray. The problem in our own society who created the Tigray people created he say. They are swimming in our blood, he say. They take our resources. They fighting for their country, but we're not of. We're not their friends. We're not friends. Dina Kena meaning that we, they are our enemies. They take, uh, they rob, they basically saying that the Tigray Liberation Front uh, uh, have a blood in their hand. They commit genocide against the Oromo people. Blood in their hand meaning that Kabena Kena Samani meaning they take our resources great problem in our society remember this guy is also a different speaker from the other video it's not the same speaker but they seem to be the guji meaning that they're in the same region guji see that gu uh, the guji is the same area but they're not it doesn't look like they're the same unit <laughs>
ሞቱማ ማታሲ ወንቀዱ የመንን ላይ ማንተ እና ተሆባች as you can see uh, those are two conflicting statements one segment of the oromo army have no problem uh, fighting alongside the TD, uh, tigray uh, T tdf uh, tigray defense forces against the government and uh, this section uh, list this guy uh, they are they see the tigray defense force as an enemy and this could be a really an issue because if you are unified uh, force if you are not unified in if you have the same if you don't have the same goal then uh it's gonna create a problem uh and also the goal in 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 life in general or in life it should be to fix problem you should never go back to try to revenge or the issues that have been long time ago uh revenge yoka halo bahin sarati demun dogongora kanya is a shame to want to go back and, and want to take revenge on societies that uh umati rosan rakinna san uh irregodu to reyu Uh, Oromo, those who are killing Oromo, those who are robbing Oromo, who are t killing uh, and taking Oromo's uh, life uh, during the TPLF, it's really uh, Oromo, the Oromo themselves, or PDO, those are the people who are killing, you know, who are rounding up uh, thousands of Oromos to, to be massacred, to be imprisoned. Male, uh, a Tigray eh, imit eh, waragarte Tigray imit. So let's look at a uh, let's look at a uh, statement from Gatachu now, the uh, the military leader of the Tigray force. He have some statement. This is Gatacho uh, Twitter account. In this account. Uh, He acknowledged some some things. Uh, statement by UNICEF, UNICEF, the the Euro Food Organization released uh, some statement about uh, people dying out of uh, local for for lack of uh, food, for not having enough food in the area. And from a starvation, from a uh, even diseases because no, there is no hospital, nothing. People are dying out of starvation, and also the government. Uh, so this is what he say. Uh, Gatachu, this is his statement. He say it is it is to be recalled that Abu uh, Abu Muhammad force or Ethiopian government force launch an attack or an offense on August 5th again it's the TPLA force the TPLA force re retrieve uh, for now uh, he say uh, they attack uh, TPLA force and then the um, uh, the Ethiopian government force when wait uh, when they running back when they retrieving They burned down a government warehouse full of supply for full of supply yechun the food that were warehouse for uh that's supposed to be for for people those food were burned down uh and then that's what he say the food because there's a lot of news uh, about the food getting the, the warehouse Where uh, unif uh, United United Nation uh, food program, they warehouse the food in some Pacific areas in, in the city, and this this part of the warehouse is burned down where uh, to make sure that the people don't don't have food, so that uh, you know uh, the people can continue to suffer, continue to die, and uh, out of uh, because of lack of food. And uh, he say, 
the Tigray government will work with relevant spa, relevant bodies to investigate any incident that may have occurred, including the deliberate targeting of food and medical supply by Ethiopian government forces or by Abiy forces. And uh, this is a full statement, the whole statement on here. But the way the picture was taken, you see, that the more down you go, the more visible the statement is. The upper portion of the statement is not that visible. So it's very hard to read. But from what I have, uh, what we can read, he say the road blockage, the road blockage, the blockage uh, of essential service made the work of uh, aid workers organization impossible to perform. The fuel embargo has made the delivery of food aid impossible. Uh, the food uh, UN agencies are unable to access cash or establish any form of telephone services, internet communication within the house within within or outside of Tigray aid convoy are routinely being obstructed and on their way to Tigray as a result delivery of emergency assistance is limited to only a very small fraction of the needed needy and uh, the people are dying due to lack of food and other supplies we like to emphasize that uh, emphasize that the Abi the Ethiopian government regime has not all, not only failed in its responsibility to support aid workers in their important work to save lives of Ethiopian civilians, but has been deliberately sabotaging their operation and endangering their personal their personal lives. Abiy Muhammad has also regretted, regrettedly decided to suspend the humanitarian works of MSF and uh, NRC cause activities that have been invaluable in addressing the humanitarian crisis in the Tigray. In Tigray, the humanitarian crisis manufactured by the government of Ethiopia is currently assuming more, uh, assuming a more dangerous form. The cleaning of innocent civilians and dumping them into the river. The Taco River is a case in point. The wholesale imprisonment, confiscation of properties, closure of a cigarette owned businesses all over Ethiopia is an all too familiar with the dangerous sign of genocide. The government of Tigray would like to once again request the unfitter, unobstructed, unfitter delivery of a emergency assistance by air and opening of all possible humanitarian corridor including corridor through western Tigray that allows for the safe and fast delivery of humanitarian assistance to those in need of not only in Tigray but also to the part of Anfar and Amar, Amhara region currently under the control of uh, our forces or TDF def Tigray Defense Forces. Lastly the government of Tigray would like to once more thank the international communities for generous, generously helping the Tigray people in their times of need and hope that it will continue to play its important its, its part in addressing the hurdles hurdles learned by Ethiopian government regime in in the way of accessing those in need of uh, emergency assistance.
I'm not going to be 